Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Organizational Saturday. I am going to be um, showing you guys everything that is in these cubes and this whole setup. You guys have seen in some of my other videos um, the top part. So down there, I have my stamp sets. It's looking really bare right now because I've pulled all of my retiring product. I actually did a video sharing with you how I do that and why I do that. And I'll throw a card up here. So in case you missed that video, you can check it out. <clears throat> and then this is a shelf that my husband built. And then on top of it, things are a little bit of a mess right now. And I thought about waiting to film this video until things were perfect. But what's the point? <laughs> There's always a mess in here. Um, it's where I work full time. So things happen. Up here is my Stampin' Storage, uh, Stampin' Up Storage, I'm sorry, um, where my ink pads and all of that is. I have a video sharing that, and I will put a card up for that. And then, um, just so you know, um, in the coming weeks, this is actually going to change because uh, my husband is building me a new shelf that will stretch the entire length of this. And we'll also have a third tier, so it will look more like a built-in, um, I mean, it doesn't really look like that, but you get the, the idea, like, it will be the height of this, there will be a third tier over here. And then all of the things that I have up here will be organized a little bit differently. That's why there's some things sitting up here, and then I have some um, stamp sets up here that I have some stuff coming up this month with. So that will be changing, but what we're going to look at today are these cubes here, this wall of cubes, and what this is, and then I will show you all of the things that I have in it, along with how I've labeled it. So I've always wanted a wall of cubes like this. Um, I think that these cubes are amazing for storage. And last year when we did the reorganization of this room, I went through every container in this room and purged a bunch of stuff. So everything in this room now is stuff that I use and I know where it's at. So to create this wall of cubes... I just have, these are closet mate cube organizers. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot. You can get them at Walmart. That's where I got mine. I got mine all from Walmart. They have different configurations. So they have a six or a nine cube where it's three cubes over and then three cubes down and it creates this nine cube organizer. Or they have this kind where it is two across and three down. So it creates the six cube organizer. Or they also have a taller one that is an eight cube where they have one more additional cube up here. And that creates an eight cube organizer. So um, you can get them in lots. And then I think they even have a single, like a three cube. So there's lots of different configurations that you can get. Now, the reason that these are closet made cube organizers and not the Ikea Calyx or the like Target brand that you can get, that is this, is because of how thick the, um, this type of organizer is. Now, of course, this organizer is a 13 by 13. So your albums are going to fit into it. And on here, albums and 12 by 12 paper are not going to fit on here. But I knew that I didn't necessarily need cube organizers to fit those things because I have my calyx, which is behind me, that holds all of my um, albums, and then I have a Calyx unit on the bottom here, and then a Target brand cube organizer on top here that holds all my 12 by 12. I did a video, I'll throw a card in. What I wanted for here is I wanted this, it needed to be thinner because we have a door here that goes out to the side of our house. Originally, when we redid the room, I actually wanted my husband to take this door out so that there was no door here because I felt like we already have a door up here. Like how many doors do we need in this room? And I felt like it would have been a better 
better storage wise for me. But as we thought about it, we decided not to. That is right where our trash cans are. And then also where we dump the ashes from our, like our ash pit, where we dump ashes from our fireplace in the winter. And so it is really convenient to have this door here. I'm glad we left it. Um, but again, that's why I wanted this to be thinner because I knew that the door was there and I didn't want this narrow way to get out the door. We cho I chose not to have this go all the way to the door. Um, just to have a little bit of room, I have my aprons there and then I have my broom and my small broom right there. And then right above, we still need to put the, um, what's that called? The trim in. We did not do that last year. Um, for lots of reasons, but we just, we have the trim. We need to put it in. We'll do that in the next couple months. And then I just got this decal here um, to put on the wall. And then we also need to put the seams. We need to do the stuff to put in the seams for this type of walling that we put up. So that's kind of an overview of it. So let's dive in. So the reason, again, I got the closet mate cubes is because they're thinner. And I knew that the storage that I needed for this um, it would be fine to have the baskets or the, like the bins. I got these bins on Amazon in my blog post. I will link everything that I can. So if you're watching the video and you're wondering, oh, I wonder where she got that, or I wonder what that is. Go to my blog post. The coordinating blog post will be linked below and everything that I can link, I will link. So I got the fabric uh, or the um, bins on Amazon. They came in a pack of six and I got black and then I got this teal color. The teal color does not match perfectly with the teal that is like my main pop of color, but it's close enough that it works. So I have um, three nine cubes and then I have one six cube at the end and it just so happened to work out I bought too many of the cubes in the beginning I bought you know what I thought I would need and I had measured and like kind of thought about it but I ended up having too many but all none of this this whole wall was going to be different when I was planning I was actually going to have two Billy bookcases over here on this wall and then the cube system was going to run all the way to that wall. And just the way that um, it came together, it worked a little bit different. I like it in this way. It's totally fine. Um, but that was how I picked how many to do. So in here, um, they are in this kind of color where there's the three blue ones. And then there's black ones all the way down except for one. And then it's the same configuration down there. I just did it in an every other kind of color situation. I, I mean, it's just whatever, you know, you want to do. There are some cubes here that are open and they are the ones that when I'm sitting and I'm designing or I'm filming, I'm sitting right here. And so um, I have some open ones for different things that I'll go through, but it's the reason they're open is so that I can reach behind me and grab the items that I need. So let's start here. I think what I'll do is try to go um, down each one. In this one, I have my punch boards and then um, like mini trimmers. Um, here's an emoji punch board. It's those kinds of things. I don't access them a ton, but I do use them. I have labeled them by doing black cardstock, which I punch out with a two inch circle. I use a white gel pen to write my item on there. And then I use Velcro dots to Velcro these. So this circle will pop off and you'll see one that I popped off because I changed um, what was in it. But I can just rearrange the cubes without feeling like um, I can't label it. That It was really hard to figure out how to label these. So I just got a whole bunch of Velcro circles on Amazon and they work perfect. So that's punch boards and small trimmers. This is sewing items, so my sewing kit is down here, and then thread. This one is retired ribbon, and right next to that one is another set of retired ribbon and my large roll of twine. This is retired punches. 
So any of the punches, uh, there's some Stampin' Up! And then these are old Martha Stewart ones. I don't have very many of those, but just a few that I randomly kept. And then some really old retired punches from Stampin' Up! This one is not labeled, but I have a label sitting on my desk for it. It's Halloween stuff. So um, this is something that I didn't have before. I just like this would have been with pretty packaging. That would have been with pretty packaging. And then the letters would have been somewhere else. Because I have the room, I went ahead and I made a Halloween bin because I don't have that much of it. And obviously, I only use it during Halloween. This is like cleaning supplies. It's a bottle of water. It's my extra like baby wipes. It's extra cleaner for my um, stamp cleaner. This is die cuts. So it is if I die cut something and I have extra of it, um, I have that. And then I have some in, oh, good thing that was not this one. So I have some in extra bins. And then I have these like, um, they're the shape of a paper pumpkin box. Let me just show you what's in this. So it says basic shapes on it, and then you open it up, and it's all these that are basic shapes. That like if I've die cut something and I don't use it, um, or I have extra of it, and they just fit down there. So I have holiday, hearts, stars, and miscellanea, and then words um, and numbers. And then these are sitting on the top because I use them the most. I'm not going to try to put that back in while I'm filming. This is extra organizational items. So I just have a bin here that has buckets and stuff for when I need to organize stuff. This is whisper white cardstock. Um, I have a lot of it on hand. And then this bin has my stamparatus, my misty, the grid paper, the um, foam thing, the my stamp cleaner in that basket. I also have black cardstock here, and then this is all Whisper White cardstock, very vanilla cardstock, and then my watercolor paper. So black watercolor paper, and then regular watercolor paper right there. On the bottom here, um, I have more organizational bins. Again, I just have two bins of that because I have quite a bit of it and things get reorganized in here often enough. Here I have extra adhesive. So this whole bin is full of extra adhesive, dimensionals, Stampin' Up! Seal. Um, I have for my ATG gun, I have refills in there, but that is full of adhesive. This one is retired cardstock. This one is my Big Shot organization, so my magnetic sheets, my envelopes, all of that. This is my 6x6 six six paper. I got these bins off Amazon. They come in a pack of four. They fit 6x6 six six paper, perfect. So I have 6x6 six six paper in it, and then I have my memory and more cards. And then they're just labeled. Um, with the backing of our cardstock with a label. I have my ATG gun, and then this container here are all of my masks. These um, containers I got at Walmart. So I just have my decorative masks in there. And then I have a little clear mat. Um, down here I have glitter paper that is six by six. And then in these, these again are those containers I got from Walmart. They were on clearance. This has specialty card stock, so vellum, um, craft card stock. And then this one has window sheets. So there's window sheets, transparencies, other company black card stock. Um, chalk paper cardstock, and then that just goes right there. And then this one is empty. Here I have all my bullet journal stuff. So I have some bullet journals, and then I have my black markers, and then my Erin Condren felt tip du dual sided markers are usually in there, but I bet I'm using them for something else right now. These are all past catalogs. I keep one from 
Every year I've been a demonstrator. And here is just giveaways. So it's retired product and giveaway stuff. Here is my scraps. Next to that is my color coach that I made a couple years ago. So it's just my color coach. It's in a six by six album. And then this is my fun foam. This is other companies items. So I have some stuff from Concord and ninth and I have a couple retired ink pads that I love. This is extra cords. Don't we all have this kind of container that is like, I know I probably need one of those cords, so I better not get rid of anything. This is just tissue paper. So all tissue paper. This is magazines, old magazines I keep for vision boards. These are Cricut items. So extra other Cricut cartridges, transfer tape, vinyl, extra cords. This you can see is where I pulled off um, a label. I'm going to move it down here. So what was in here is just goodies for little goodie boxes. So gums and candy. And I don't keep a lot of that in here because we tend to get ants easily. But sometimes if I'm in the middle of like Valentine's Day or Christmas or Halloween, sometimes stuff will go down there. So that label was up here and I'm going to move it down there. And here, this is empty, but it's going to be another bin for homemade items. So these are boxes and tins and coffee cups, things that I've made that I don't, I didn't have a reason I needed them. Maybe they were for a class or something. And I keep this bin and now I'll have two. So when I need to grab something to put a treat in it for somebody, I just look in these bins. Then this bin has kids stuff for the school. So pencils and erasers and different things like that. And then this is Kayla's bin. So it's her stamp sets and colored pencils. That's the that, um, bin that I keep for like goodies. And then this is just reusable bags. So that is all of the cubes for this wall of cubes. I really love it. I've made my labels for the rest of my bins and I'm going to get my Velcro dots out and put them on here um, to finish labeling these. That's the only thing that was left to do. But again, I have a couple that are empty and that's fine with me. I have room if I need to put something in there. And then sometimes, like I said, things change. So they're on Velcro so I can just change out the label and it will work. If you have any questions, you can let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Um, if you want to know where any of the products are that I got, um, you can check out my blog post and everything will be linked. And then when this part up here updates, I will share a video. I'm actually planning on sharing the process of him building the shelf and as putting it together, it will be white, so it will match this whole setup. Originally, I was thinking about painting these black, but I think it would just be easier to paint this new shelf white. It will go up a little ways, so I'll redo this a tiny bit. Just a few things will move around. And then um, the only other thing that has kind of changed in here is I've gotten some wall decals. I know I already showed you guys this corner, but I got a flower decal to put here. I'll link where I got that. And there's a matching one over my desk over here. The large floral decal I purchased. The count and all joy, which is right below it, I made on my Cricut. So I added that and then I re- organized the way my desk is. My computer used to be in that corner, so it was kind of cornered, and I've just moved it and moved it flat against the wall. Um, one of the next videos you guys will be seeing will be of my desk. I moved it because I was planning on getting, I'm getting a new iMac, and I was going to get a 27-inch screen. I decided not to do that, 
So that's why I was waiting to film my desk as I was going to wait until my new computer got here. Um, I'm getting a new computer, but not a 27 inch. I'm going to keep the 21.5 inch screen. So I feel like I didn't really need to move it out of that corner and re kind of organize my desk, but it's worked out. Um, and I'll share more of that when I do my desk, but I'll be doing my desk at some point and then this middle island and then I think that will almost be everything here in the room and then we'll do smaller organizational projects on Saturdays um, because the bigger spaces are kind of done and then as soon as I do my desk and the island I will do an entire overview of the room um, with links and cards to each area. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys later.